Hey, happy Friday to you. It is February 3rd and these are the Friday Funnies. Well, we've come to the end of another action-packed week, starting with the Florida presidential primary, which was followed by Groundhog Day and will conclude on Sunday with Super Bowl XLVI. So, let's start in Florida. Down in Florida, catchers Mitt Romney won a decisive victory over Fig Newton Gingrich, Rick, there's nothing funny about my name, Santorum, and Ron, no relation to Rue Paul. The next caucus is in Nevada, where odds makers are giving four to one odds that nobody will be happy about the outcome. Then yesterday was Groundhog Day, an entire holiday devoted to the hibernation habits of a member of the rodent family. So we put our weather predictions in the hands of a rat, and you just know a rat's going to lie. And that brings us to Super Bowl XLVI, which will be played Sunday between the New York Giants and the New England Patriots. I've studied the upcoming match carefully and can safely predict the following. Final score, XXXVIII to XXXV with the margin of victory and XLIX cubit field goal. Now that I've covered the big stories of the week, here are the really, really odd ones. Two unrelated stories from the Keystone State seem to be very eerily linked. Starting off in Waynesburg, Pennsylvania, 49-year-old Evelyn Fuller was arrested and charged with bank robbery. She was recognized from the surveillance photos which showed that she, she had no teeth. Evelyn said that the reason she held up the bank was to get some money for dentures. Meanwhile, in Bridgeville, Pennsylvania, only 41 miles away, police are looking for the person who broke into a series of cars and stole, among other things, two iPods, a GPS, a set of headphones, and a set of dentures. Huh? Get the connection? Evelyn wanted teeth so bad she robbed a bank. Who's to say she didn't travel a few miles down the road and lift a set of ready-made choppers? I don't know. Also, I think that Bridgeville is an ironic name for a town with denture crime. Jason Elias sounds like a nice guy who really loved his girlfriend. She loves football, so as a special surprise, he bought two tickets to the Super Bowl for $8,000. And at Christmas, he was planning to ask her to marry him. It was going to be a big year for Jason. Then he found out he had bladder cancer, and not only did his girlfriend immediately dump him, but now she still wants the Super Bowl tickets. She claims that he bought them for her, so she should get them. Jason claims that she can go pound sand, and he's given the tickets away to whomever gets him the most Twitter followers. Let me just say, I don't know his girlfriend, but this is the kind of woman who gives all money-grubbing whores a bad name. Football fans are very emotional people. Thankfully, they're not as emotional as Egyptian soccer fans, but they still live and die for their team, only figuratively speaking. So it's easy to understand how a couple of fans in Indianapolis for this weekend's big game weren't paying strict attention when they signed their bar tab at the NFL Experience concession stand in the Indiana Convention Center. The couple bought two beers for $7 each, but signed a credit card statement for $2,995, or $1,497.50 per beer. It was obviously a mistake, and the NFL Experience concession said that they were sorry for the inconvenience and would honor the error. They said that the couple have 428 more beers coming to them. Hey, that's all I have for you this week. Please forward these funnies to all your friends, and I will see you next week reporting live from Orlando, Florida. See you next Friday.